Morning everybody, I'm going to show you how to make a sock bunny today. So let me tell you what you will need. So you're going to need a sock, here, one sock. You're going to need a piece of ribbon, a pair of scissors, three elastic bands. I've got some tapestry thread here, but it could, you could use wool, coloured wool and a needle that you can get that wool through, so like a darning needle or something. You're also going to need some stuffing. I've got some stuffing here for you, and uh, this is from an old cushion. But if you can't use stuffing, what works really well is shredded paper or old tights chopped up, um, and rice, if you've got any rice, but I doubt you have at the moment. Um, those are the kinds of things that work. So let's let's just let's just do it, shall we? You've got to stuff your sock. <laughs> so let's have a look. There we go. So you want to leave a couple of inches at the top, which have no stuffing. Those are going to be your ears. So make sure you pack it down nicely. And when I'm taking an elastic band and I'm just putting it around the top. If you haven't got an elastic band, just use a piece of wool or a piece of cotton might be good. Whatever you've got to hand, okay? So, there is my stuffed sock. I'm now going to make a little head. So I'm just squeezing, squeezing the shape, look. Let's get my elastic band, wrap it round there, there it goes. So we're starting to get a little bunny shape. Alright, give it a good firm prod there to get your shape going. Alright, so now we're going to make his ears, we've got a little tail there look. It's cut a triangle out of here, all right? Okay, just go for it. And another side to the triangle. Okay, that's the bit I've cut out, and there are my ears. Okay, so he's starting to starting to come together. Look, all right. Sock bunny, sock bunny. Yeah. Okay, I've done my ears. Now it's time to put the ribbon round my bunny's neck. Every bunny wears. We all know every bunny wears a ribbon round the neck at Easter. It's part of the bunny code. I'm trying to make a nice bow, but you could make a tie. Okay. Um, we're going to give our bunny eyes. We're going to give our bunny a mouth and a nose. I think it's only fair. So as I say, you don't need to have um, tapestry wool or tapestry thread or whatever they call it. Um, a bit of wool, a bit of coloured wool would be good. Thread your needle. Bring it through from the back. Oh, sorry, bunny. Sorry, bun bun. That way we can not have any knots on the front. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I. Um, you can sew it however you like. Um, I was, I don't know, I was taught a long time ago to make a French knot. If you know how to do a French knot, you could do a French knot. Otherwise, you could just do a little crisscross pattern. Mm. 
what you want to do is make the stitches nice and loose so that the knitted fabric of the sock doesn't um, make what you're doing is you're drawing with your needle so you don't want you want you want loose stitches because the, the sock is inclined to make uh, the tight make make your make you tighten up on your stitches. So there's one eye. I asked. You see that there? I've got a couple of eyes. I'm now going to start on his nose and his mouth. I might do it something like that. And then we'll give him a little thing. Mm -hmm. I'm going go through to the back because I've done it. Something like that. Alright. And I'm going to I've taken taken it through to the back. I'm just gonna cut that off there. And then I can't see it in the back there either. So there's bunny there's bunny's face, look. Alright. Okay, so that is how you make a bunny. Please um, send us your photographs of bunnies and we will post them on our website. We're gonna have a people's vote amongst other categories of bunny um, so join us on social media and you can find out all about that all right if you want to do any more projects like this please sign up for uh, MIPA membership which is free at the moment because we're helping our community during a time of social distancing um, so yeah, from, from our website you can download lots of activities, there's a library of stuff on there and we post something new every week. Thank you very much, cheerio, bye!